Hi guys and welcome to my latest video. Today I wanted to talk about listing and inventory. Specifically, how many items should you have listed? Um, how big should your inventory be? And I'd be really, really interested to hear um, other resellers' opinions on this. And if, if, if you guys would like to, I'd be really grateful if you could share in the comments section um, the kinds of items that you sell. Um, how many items you have listed and what your sell through rate is. Now, the cool thing about eBay is that they do track a lot of your stats for you. Um, they, the, the kind of stats they keep are, are very valuable and it's definitely worth looking at your sales report if you've got selling manager. Go in there, have a look at your sales reports for the past few months. You can download them for up to two years previous and it's important to have these because then you can really judge where you are. And now the reason why I'm kind of making this video really is because I remember when I first started on eBay and I had like 50 items listed and then 100 items listed, I used to think, wow, imagine if I had 200 or 300, like as if magically my sales would explode. And it, it doesn't happen like that from from my experience anyway. Your sales will gradually grow. Um, that's, that's what seems to have happened. Um, and there will be obviously peak times and times where... It, things slow down anyway, but it's important to have a rough idea um, in terms of how much of your stock are you shifting every month as to, you know, because that will tell you then how much stock you need to find every month and really how many listings do you need to, to in, in, increase your income. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly just go across to the, uh, the um, browser view here. Let me just see if I've got it here. There we go. Now, what I've got here is um, is like a, a cool little, let me just move myself out of the way there. There we go, that's better. Now, what, what I've got here is, is, is a little snip I've taken from my Selling Manager Pro, and, and it shows you January, February, and March's figures. So it tells you that I had a really decent January. Um, I was 28% up on what I did in December and January, which is really weird. Um, and you can see that I had 291 ended listings, um, and I sold 114 items. So I actually sold 38% of my inventory. Um, and my average selling price was 22, uh, 22 pounds an item. So pretty happy with that. Then February came and I had a massive drop in sales, down 21% of what I did. Um, my inventory was about the same. You can see about 302 there. And I sold 76 items. So my my um, sell through rate was 24%. So out of my items, I sell about 24% of my stock. And then um, that, you know, that's quite important information. And then again, in March, um, I sold, uh, I went up by about 50 listings that time. But my, um, my sales went up a little bit, I sold 80 items. And that's 20, 21.9. So a drop there. But you know, it's it's kind of close. And actually, the April that's just happened, I've I've sold 92 items. Um, but obviously, my inventory has gone up somewhat as well. So I'm interested to see that because I didn't track that myself. But I'll be waiting for the April results to to show here as well. And you know, and you can also get this little graph that it shows you. You can see February, March, April. This tells you the amount of items you sold. You can see 114 in January, 76 and 80. And then here's your average selling price. So 22 pounds in January. And then the last couple of months, it's been £26. So pretty happy with that. And, 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 and these figures, like I said, they're useful because they give you an idea of, of what kind of sales you could expect if you, were to, if you were to increase your inventory and how much you need to increase your inventory by to achieve your desired um, turnover. So, you know, if you if you if you've got to if you have got figures in mind, you've got to kind of look at these figures and be like, how many items am I selling every month? So if I've got a hundred items listed and I'm only selling ten items, so I've got a ten percent, you know, sell through rate, then I know to sell uh, twenty to double it, I kind of need to double my you know, double my inventory. Um, but it might not work out like that because there are other factors to, to bear in mind. Um, depending on you know how in demand your items are so so you know let me just switch back to webcam view here and so th there are lots of factors involved i mean imagine if you were able to get hold of iphone 6s for 
for very cheap. You probably would only need to have like 20 listings up and you'd make a ton of money um, if you were getting them for like 100 quid and selling them for like 500. I don't know how much they cost or anything. I've got no interest in those things. But my, my point is that it very much depends on your stock, the kind of stock. If you're selling vintage antique items, your turnover is going to be dictated by the fact that you're waiting for that right person to come along and pay that right price for your unique item so you're going to have to have a much bigger inventory um so for example people like scavenger life operate on like a about around a five percent sell-through rate and you can see i'm i'm on about 20 20 20 to 30 percent sell-through rate so quite an interesting topic um you know be very interested to see what other resellers um make of this um and especially the you experienced guys out there would be very interested to hear like what your sell through rate percentage tends to be and the kind of items you sell so you don't have to be specific just like the 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 general i uh, type of items that you sell would be interesting to know anyway guys i'm um, i hope you found this video um somewhat enjoyable if you did leave it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the section below and i will hopefully see you guys in the next video thank you for watching